Assalamu alaikum dear students. We are going to talk about mechanisms of pain in this video. Guide in 13th edition, chapter 49. When a person sits for a long time, pain is felt. Why do you think so? Can you think of the reasons? When a person sits for a long time, there is pressure or mechanical stimulus on the nerve endings. So one is that direct stimulation of the nerve endings, which are the free nerve endings, which causes pain. Receptors of the pain is free nerve endings. So uh, direct stimulation of the free nerve endings causes pain, as well as when the person sits for a long time, there is pressure on the blood vessels as well, which will decrease the blood supply to the tissues and to the nerves as well, which will cause anaerobic type of uh, metabolism and accumulation of lactic acids, uh, acid and other chemicals which, stimul which stimulate the nerve endings. So this is why when a person sits for a long time, pain might be fit. Why diabetic patients develop foot ulcers? Diabetic patients, they have neuropathies. They, with time, if it is not controlled, diabetes is not controlled, they don't feel the extremities. So when they're injured, they will have wounds and they will not know about it till later. And that's why they develop foot ulcer, as well as the blood supply to the peripheries is decreased. This also causes ulcers. Pain receptors are free nerve endings. The stimuli for pain could be mechanical, could be chemical, and it could be thermal. Whatever, re whatever reason that can cause damage to the free nerve endings and their irritation. Chemical substances that can cause pain, bradykinin. Actually, if an injection of bradykinin is given subcutaneously, that bradykinin will cause irritation of the nerve endings and uh, free nerve endings and causes pain. Serotonin can cause pain, histamine, potassium ions, acids like lactic acid, which are released in anaerobic metabolism, acetylcholine, protolytic enzymes. Prostaglandins and substance P, they enhance sensitivity, and this is important for MCQs. Substance P, remember, it's also a neurotransmitter for the slow paleospinothalamic trap, it also enhances the sensitivity. Prostaglandins also enhance the sensitivity of the pain pathway. Now, let's talk about the different mechanisms of pain. Thermal stimulation causes pain. How? Because thermal stimulation, if it is very high temperature or very low temperature, it can cause direct damage of the free nerve endings. Chemical substances like predikinin, uh, uh, potassium ions, protolytic enzymes, uh, lactic acid, these substances, what they cause, they cause irritation of the free nerve endings. Tissue ischemia causes pain because decrease in the blood supply causes the tissues to go for anaerobic metabolism, therefore releasing chemical substances and lactic acid, which causes irritation of the free nerve endings and their damage. Mechanical stimulation causes pain. How? Mechanical stimulation, stimulation has two ways. One is direct and one is indirect. Mechanical stimulation does, uh, causes direct damage to the free nerve endings, direct irritation of the free nerve endings, as well as it decreases because of me mechanical stimulus, uh, stimulation, it decreases the blood supply. Decreasing the blood supply, what will happen in the blood supply is decreased. There is anaerobic metabolism and uh, the because of anaerobic metabolism, there is release of lactic acid and other chemical substances which will cause damage and irritation of the free nerve endings. Muscle spasm has the same mechanism as the mechanical stimulation. So these are the different mechanisms by which thermal stimulation, chemical substances, tissue ischemia, mechanical stimulation, and muscle spasm, they cause pain.